Hello and welcome. Today, we will be learning all about fractions. Together, we're going to explore fractions. We'll learn how to read and write fractions using words. Are you excited to learn about this awesome math topic? Let's begin. First, let's talk about what a fraction is. A fraction is when an object is partitioned into equal parts. Let's talk about this big word we just heard, partitioned. Can you say it with me? Partitioned. Great job. Partitioned means that you separate or divide something. For example, if I have this delicious pizza and I want to share it with a friend, I can partition it like this. I just separated it into two equal parts. Now my friend can have a slice and so can I. A fraction represents a part of a whole. A whole can be partitioned into two equal parts known as halves, three equal parts known as thirds, four equal parts known as fourths, or eight equal parts known as eighths. It's important to remember that for something to be considered as a fraction, the whole must be partitioned into equal parts. For example, this is called halves because there are two equal parts. But if we look at this object, we can see that it has two parts, but the parts are not equal. So it cannot be considered as a fraction and we can't call it halves. Now, let's discuss a few more examples and non-examples of fractions. Here we have thirds. I can tell this shows thirds because there are three equal parts. This cannot be considered thirds because the parts are not equal. This cannot be considered as fourths. Even though there are four parts, the parts are not equal. So this is not a fraction. This is fourths because there are four equal parts. This shows eighths because there are eight equal parts. This object has eight parts also, but because the parts are not the same size, they aren't equal, so it is not eighths. Now that we know all about the different names of fractions, let's talk about how we read and write fractions. To name a fraction that is shaded in, first, I'll look at the amount that is shaded, which is one. Next, I'll see how the whole is partitioned. The whole is partitioned into halves. Since only one of the two equal parts is shaded, we will say one half because half means one part. So we will say one half of the fraction is shaded in instead of one halves. If we said one halves, that wouldn't make sense because halves means two equal parts and both parts aren't shaded in. Let's look at some more examples. First, I'll look at the amount shaded in. There are two parts shaded in. Next, I'll look at what the whole is partitioned into. I see three equal parts, so it's partitioned into thirds. The fraction shown here is two thirds. There are four parts shaded in. This whole is partitioned into fourths because there are four equal parts. This fraction shows four fourths. When an entire fraction is shaded in, we can also call it a whole because all of the parts in the whole are shaded in. Six parts are shaded in and this whole is partitioned into eighths. So this fraction shows six eighths. Now let's practice. I'll show you a fraction and you tell me what fraction is shaded. Ready? Let's go. What fraction is shaded? Remember to count the amount shaded first and then name what the whole is partitioned into. Great job. This fraction shows seven eighths. Awesome. 
awesome job. This fraction is two thirds. Way to go. This fraction shows two halves. Remember that if the whole object is shaded in, we can also say it's one whole. Wow, you've got this. This fraction shows two fourths. Amazing job. The fraction shown here is five eighths. You did awesome reading these fractions. Before you go, let's review the important things we learned about fractions. Partition means to separate or divide something. Here's a question for you. In order for something to be considered a fraction, what do all the parts of an object have to be? That's right, they have to be equal. Fractions involve equal parts like halves, thirds, fourths, and eighths. When writing fractions, remember to count the total shaded parts first, then name how many parts the whole is partitioned into. Keep these things in mind and you'll master fractions in no time. If you enjoyed this video today, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more educational videos like this, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you next time.